as you guys know, Scarlet and Violet just released here. So we got a couple of cool items from the Pokemon company that I wanted to open up and share with you guys here. Scarlet and Violet Base. All right, this is the hype set everybody's been talking about. All right, brand new gen, brand new block of Pokemon getting released. Very hyped up, hyped up, very excited. It's been, uh, I've been talking with a couple people and I think we all kind of agreed that, you know, out of all the new blocks, out of all the new base sets of Pokemon, this is probably the most exciting, I would say, of all the base sets. Aside from maybe like uh, English, I mean, not English, but Wizards of Coast base set, the original, original first one, but ever the base set, right? Ruby Sapphire, Diamond and Pearl, XY, Black and White. I guess Heart Gold Soul Silver was kind of exciting, but most of the base sets were not so crazy hype, right? But the artworks and the cards in this set are insane, all right, to start off. So got this cool, cool item here. So again, shout out to the Pokemon company, right? Always uh, thinking about us in the community here, sending us some cool items, right? And uh, some cool stuff to check out and even give away. Oh, it's a... What is this? This is actually a, a banner I can hang up, I guess. It's got two holes here. You can hang these up here. It's a starters. This is actually arguably the best pack art, right? There's actually four different pack arts, and this is arguably one of the best, if not the best pack art of the four. Just saying. So this is pretty cool, right? Might actually hang this one up in the house. Obviously, you've seen me open up a beautiful booster box, yeah, for myself recently, which, you know, I had some pretty good luck on, right? If you guys didn't see that video, make sure you guys check that one out on the YouTube channel. Right, but something that I haven't opened yet is I have not opened an ETB, right? Specifically, right, the Scarlet and Violet ETBs. Now, I did order myself the Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs, right, which comes with a little, little bit more stuff in there, right? And I always recommend you guys check out those Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs. But this one here, the regular standard ETB, actually looks pretty nice, right? So I want to open it up because something different that they are doing, right, is that they're putting a promo card into these ETBs, all right? Beautiful promo card into these ETBs here. So I want to check it out, all right? And see what kind of luck I get for myself, all right? With this ETB. So before this, every ETB that had a promo card was a special set from Hidden Fates to Champion's Path to Shining Legends, right? Shining Fates, all these special sets had a promo. Main sets, all right? Like Vivid Voltage, um, Silver Tempest, Lost Origins, none of these sets had promo cards inside. But starting with this set here, Scarlet and Violet Base, there is promo cards. So we're gonna open it up and check it out. Now, something I always remind you guys is that these ETB uh, player guides are actually quite nice, especially for all you master setters out there that love to do master sets. It actually shows you every single card in the set, from the comments to uncommons to all the secret rares. And it's a good book to have and keep inside of your binder so that you can keep up with which cards you're missing. Another cool feature is that they have these two check boxes. One is for the non-hollow or the regular one, right? And one is for the reverse. So it's kind of nice. You can use this as a checklist. Oftentimes people just end up, you know, tossing these or throwing these away, right? But it has a great use. Look, there's a muck in the set. It's been brought to my attention as well. Right, let me put this on the side here. Uh, another cool thing is, uh, I don't know if you guys recognize this, but this is the little, um, little thing that slides off of the ETB. But if you guys actually, you know, don't just throw this away and you guys take the time to open it, you can actually see that it is actually all of the pack arts here. All right, a lot of people don't know this, but it's actually all the pack arts. So this is a cool item too, to have in display. I know some people have collected these, right? One of each of all the different ETBs and kind of hung them all together or did, did a little collage of them, but it has all the pack arts on there and is uh, kind of cool as well, all right? So yeah, most people just throw them away though, but you know, just to have one, just so you know, right? FYI. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this ETB here. So I think we have, what is it, eight packs? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's nine packs now. Is it nine packs? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Is it nine packs now? Hey, yo, it's nine packs now. Okay, so, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, MSRP of, uh, of Pokemon products have increased. So I think with that increase of MSRP, uh, they've also increased, I guess, the stuff that you get. So... It's nine, right? And then, yeah, I think Pokemon Center exclusive ones, there's a couple more packs in the Pokemon Center exclusive ones. That's why they're a little more expensive, but usually there's eight, right? Special sets have 10. This one is nine. So instead of eight as what we would expect before, now there's nine, okay? Let's see what else is in here. We've got nine packs, that's cool. Extra packs always nice. Oh, they got some nice, I guess, counters. Very, very interesting. Usually you don't package a counters like this, okay? Of course, we always have dice, right? And damage counters. We got these beautiful, beautiful dividers. As per usual, 
uh, which is a set. We got the block of energies, right? Which is the new design of the energies, gray borders with the new energy design. Every block, they always change the different energies and the way they look. And of course, here's the promo, right? Kodaidon promo. Very nice. It's like an art rare. I believe this card was like a um, a kind of like tournament play or not not a really uh, regular play card that was uh, that was given away in Japan. I guess you had to like pull it or get it from something, but it's it's not from a regular set. So nice to see that they moved the card over to English and they made it as a uh, promo, right? That everybody can get. It's a beautiful card. And honestly, one of the things that I noticed lately is that the quality control of Pokemon has, you know, has actually been a little better. Right, from the packs that, uh, the booster box that I opened of Scarlet and Violet to looking at these here. I mean, the centering in the card actually looks pretty good. So, quality control actually looks pretty, uh, pretty solid. Uh, and then, of course, last but not least, we got the beautiful, uh, sleeves. Yeah, those are really nice, the hard sleeves, right, that match the design of the ETB. But beautiful card I'm gonna leave it inside the pack for now, though. But, alright, let's go ahead and dive into the packs here. I am an absolute degen. Good luck, good luck to me. Another added cool thing is that the, um... The, the, uh, the cards are actually put in a way where you don't have to do a card trick anymore, right? You go straight from the front all the way to the back. You don't have to uh, do any card trick or anything. The last card is an energy, and then your three hits, which is the reverse hollow. This is always reverse hollow. Sometimes a hit here, all right? And obviously a guaranteed hollow here is what they've done for these sets, all right? So guaranteed hollow spot could be a bigger hit. Uh, the, re the re second reverse hollow spot could be another big hit, some sort of secret rare or gold star card or whatever. A right, gold star rarity card, I should say. So let's see what we got here. First pack, just a hollow. Second pack, we got a secret rare. We got the Sandile art rare. Very nice, very cute. Beautiful artwork there and a Klefki hollow. So there are definitely more hits now in every single pack, guaranteed. And with higher secret rare hit rates, you're going to see them pretty often as well. I would say every single ETB you get nowadays, you're probably going to get a secret rare. It's probably not guaranteed. There's going to be that one person out there that like gets a really bad ETB and gets nothing. But consistently, you're probably going to get one secret rare, maybe more. Okay, you're definitely not getting this every ETB. Kodaidon EX! Okay! Oh, very nice! The booster box, I pulled the Miraidon EX. No shot! I got the Miraidon from the booster box, and I got a Kodaidon from the ETB. Look at that, Dedenne. I really like the texture of these cards here, man. So nice. Wow, dude. Pretty lucky, huh? This is me. This is me. I don't, I don't usually get this lucky. I guess lately I've been pretty lucky, ever since that Silver Tempest opening as well, right? Where I hit the Lugia in my first box. That was pretty lucky, but damn, okay. So interesting to note that the the hollows now have that silver border, right? Obviously, all the cards now have that gray border as well. Some people like it, some people don't. All right, I feel like it's been kind of 50-50, but I, my personal opinion, I like it. Change is nice, right? Having some change is nice. We'll see how they continue to you know create these awesome artworks. As long as they keep doing these, I, I really don't care about the border, all right? Silver is nice, is nice to me just because it's a change, mostly. I don't know if I like it more than the yellow borders, but it's a change. Gyarados EX! Alright, again with these, it has that really sparkly, right, little dot texture to it. Little sparkly dot texture, only for the terrestrialized EX. The regular EXs have some kind of like shimmer, like star shimmering look to them. Similar to some of the Poncho Pikachus and stuff. Yeah, or CP sets back in the day in Japanese. Hey, we got two packs left here. Yeah, oh, come on. Great Tusks! I pulled so many Great Tusks and Iron Treads when we did a pre-release event. All right, final pack. Pack number nine. Come on. Pack number nine. One more. One more. One more. Ah, oh, Quaxley. And a Vremba Vroom. Okay. All right, not bad, right? Um, Again, really do enjoy this. Um, Really, really solid. Really excited to open up millions of these packs. Okay thousands hopefully we get to open a decent amount of these packs here yeah really fun set really excited for some of the future sets to come to inside of this new block scarlet and violet but the cards are good cards are great and i guess it does help when my when my luck is uh, kind of nice as well but uh let me know your thoughts on some of these cards here and some of the artworks and if, whether you like the silver borders or not but some of the changes are pretty solid right but big shout out to, uh, again to the pokemon company thank you for always uh thinking of us right and letting us uh, open these up and uh, enjoy these cards yeah with the community here as well as, uh, you know, giving me the good hits in my boxes. <laughs> Very nice! Damn, still can't believe I got a Miraidon and a Kodaidon. That's nuts. In one booster box and one ETB. What the heck?